It's what patients want, it's what staff want, and it's what the NHS needs. Three DLC stands for three dimensions for long-term conditions. So what we do is we're trying to integrate the psychological and social aspects of care to the treatment of people with long-term conditions. Particularly, we're focusing on heart conditions, so heart failure, and also lung conditions like COPD. As part of the Health Foundation Scaling Up 2 program, we are working to scale up successful work done in diabetes to other long-term medical conditions. And to do that, we work with five different clinical teams um, across King's College Hospital, Guy's Hospital, and St Thomas's Hospital and the boroughs of Lambeth and Southwark. We know that someone coming to clinic um, with COPD or chronic respiratory illness would not have been asked about their mental health. That's despite us knowing as a service that they are two to three times more likely to be depressed than the general population. So what we've done as part of 3DLC is we've broken down a lot of those barriers. So now if a patient comes along to their respiratory appointment, they will also be asked about symptoms of depression and anxiety. If it comes, becomes apparent that they have anxiety related to their COPD, they will be offered an intervention along a stepped cared system which may involve seeing a specialist like ourselves who can work really closely with that respiratory team to provide patient-centred and holistic care. It's really important that we join up psychosocial care and physical care because our mind and bodies are intricately related. So if we take care of our patients as a whole, they actually will have better outcomes, they have better experience of their care, and it also uh, reduces the cost of healthcare. People get a much more balanced and um, whole service, really. I think every, you know, it's not just the, it's not just their health condition, but it's also the way that they deal with problems is actually, and they deal with their situation is addressed as well. So I think that provides a much more balanced um, and effective treatment model. And so I actually give session, um, presentations and advice sessions on welfare benefits, housing law, and accessing social care. Seeing the relief that people have once they're that their financial situation is clear and settled is, you know, makes, makes the job very worthwhile. We have screened um, 80, over 1,800 um, patients and um, screening these patients has shown the real need for um, projects such as the 3DLC. So far our data has shown improvement in um, heart failure and COPD functioning um, with patients who have engaged with the service. And we've seen how much more confident staff feel in tackling these issues. Before, people knew that there might be some problems, but they felt tentative about bringing it up because they had no way to manage it and no resource to, to provide. And now, we've seen a real change in the cultural attitudes in, in health staff towards people with a comorbid mental illness and a long-term medical condition. We also notice um, from a lot of patient accounts that they are more satisfied with their, their care when we join up care. Um, they have a better sense of coherence, um, they feel more cared for and have more sort of understanding and control in how they manage their long-term conditions. The utopia is that with every sort of medical specialty, there will be um, an embedded psychologist or mental health professional to support um, the patient's um, needs, but also um, supports the teams as they cope with challenging um, conditions, um, behaviours and patients.